Hey what's up boys and girls, I'm actually going to be showing you how to uh, port forward on an EE Brightbox 2. It is a bit more advanced, um, however, if you have your Minecraft server, right, um, I've just done the start server, BART stuff, uh, pretty much my preference. As you can see, I do have my server running. I'm just going to go quickly stop it. Um, now, the best thing to do is you want to first have your command prompt. Right? And you want to do uh, so you want your IP config. Right? This is what you'll need. Right, so I want to go into here and essentially you want to load up your screen. Nine times out of ten, it's admin, and the password is always on the back of the router or on your little card that you get. Um, so I'm just typing in mine now. When you come into here, you want to click on advanced, you want to click accept, and you want to go to NAT. Want to go down to port forwarding, right? Now this part right here, okay. So for your IPv4, that part is what's going to sit in here. If you can, put in the protocol type TCP and UDP. Private ports and public ports you want as two five five six five across the boards. You want to make sure it's enabled and save. Once it's saved, log out. Nice and simple. Now, what you want to do is essentially you want to start your server. As you can see, mine's there, but mine will cut out. This is the IP, so it's the IPv4 and the semicolons and 25565. That is your server. The way to link this up is you go into your server properties. I use my notepad plus plus. Use the IP server is you put your IPv4 in and the I server port is the 25565. Once you've done that you click save, exit. Now when you do this you can either Add server and you can have localhost. Sometimes it doesn't actually like me, um, but you can also do direct host and it'll, well, it should normally direct. But as long as you have your IPv4 uh, with the semicolons and the server port, you sh will be able to log straight in. And the IPv4 is what you'll use, essentially. As you can see, I'm on my server. I'm currently doing it out. Um, so this is in a work in progress. Now, some people do say you want to give your friends um, this IP, essentially. You give them that IP when you type in ipchicken.com you give them that IP with the semicolons and the 25565 um, and that is pretty much it um, if that doesn't work you'll want to give them the IPv4 which is the external link uh, IP um, so for mine it's 1.192.6168 1 one eight seven semicolons two five five six five um as you can see right there um thank you very much for joining and hope I have sorted your problems.